shop today we got a small block 400 as y'all can see i already got a front and a rear main bearing placed in the block i'm doing a quick mock-up got two pistons and uh hung on the rods got the crank here just picked everything back up from the machine shop getting balanced so we're going to do a quick mock-up so i set the crank in and I rotated the engine and if you can see right here that little mark there and it's a little mark right here those two spots is where my connector rod is meeting the cylinder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a magic marker and just make a little mark around here and we're going to clearance uh, the bottom of each cylinder in that area this area right here on each cylinder both sides and right here for each cylinder so I'm gonna go ahead and all I use is a regular die grinding bit I use a corpse bit to take some of the material away first two cylinders y'all can see right here oh right there there we go all this material here we're taking it away and I took it away on this cylinder which is number one on this side and two on the other side. And as you can see right here, here's the marks. On each cylinder of the material that we're gonna remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these other cylinders. I'm gonna blow all these shavings out, clean the block black up, mock it back up with the pistons in, we're gonna rotate it again. Alright, so this is what we look like with all the cylinders done pretty much see exactly where I had removed the material so we got a lot of little shavings in there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to wash the block we're going to blow all this out wash the block one more time make sure we get all the shavings out then we're going to mock it up again make sure everything is clear before we start the final assembly alright so it looks like we took enough material away, so you look down there, that's where we notched it at. And as you can see, the rod was coming around and it was meeting up against the block and it was hitting. We moved that material and now we have no binding. It's not hitting nowhere, as you can see. If you put a short block together and it don't rotate like this on every cylinder and you got something binding up somewhere and stop get hard like this or it spins freely and it tightens up, then spins freely again, you got a problem. Every cylinder, and you'll see it once I assemble the whole engine, should spin and turn just like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two back out and we're gonna move to the next cylinder, which will be this is one and two, that'll be three and four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna check each cylinder, rotate it, and make sure each cylinder has proper clearance before we uh, finalize the assembly and start wasting good assembly lube putting it together. Still here late nights, bottom end is complete. Everything is torqued in, crank torqued in. All the rods are torqued in. Y'all can see right there from where they were balancing the motor. So like I told you, once everything is in, everything should spin over freely. No binding, no hard spots, no kinks. And I mean, that's pretty much a, about 10 pounds of torque on the arm there. So bottom end complete. We're gonna flip this thing over and get the heads put on. Regular Fair Pro performing gaskets. As y'all can see, we got the AFRs on there. I gotta put the guide plates and studs in. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the cam in and keep it going. Cam is in. And that will be a wrap for tonight. 
It's about 1.30 in the morning. I actually ran out of parts. So I'd have kept going. But, like I said, we got the cam in. Heads are on and torqued down, so I just got to get a double roller, billet timing chain, uh, torque down the uh, rocker arm studs, which go right here, and the guide plates. Um, I got to do the math, get the right push rod, right length push rod. And we're going to go ahead and button this thing on up. Be making some noise real soon.